Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Uh, hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. We're going to do a review of the previous class. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. All right. So that was a short review. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to look at the next activity. For this activity, we're going to look at instructions. Read the article, then answer the questions. To celebrate her birthday, you will have five minutes to complete this activity. 1.6 knowledge check. You will have five minutes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. 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 You will have five minutes. Hello. Hello, good night. Good night. Trabajamos en la plataforma. Okay. La tiene, la tiene a la vista. Oh, deme un segundo. Igual yo estoy buscando. Ya, ya tengo la uno, uno, seis. Sí. Okay. Bye. Eh, sí. Podemos escucharlo cada quien y luego comparamos las respuestas, ¿le parece? Ok, ok, excelente. Bye. Buenos 
Ya las tiene, compañero. Solo me falta la última. Ahorita voy. Vaya, está bien. Ok, ya, ya. Este, la número uno, la tengo verdadera. Yo también la puse verdadera. Vaya. La número dos, false. La número tres, true. Y también, y número cuatro, false. Ah, ok, solo me equivoqué en la última, que le puse true. Vamos a revisar, no voy a hacer que yo me haya equivocado. Ah, bueno, sí. No, pero sí, ya, ya la tengo buena. Ah, pues sí, sí es full. Ah, sí, sí. Sí, vale. True, true y full. No, true, full. True, true full. full. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos. Y adelantado no no mucho solamente lo que hemos visto en estos días no tengo mm. mucho tiempo si sí, verdad no queda mucho tiempo a veces por el trabajo si sí, así es pero es lo bueno es que vamos si sí, y lo bueno es que vamos trabajando también de un solo aquí así eso es lo que me gusta que por lo menos vamos a hacer la calle, tenemos una, una idea. Sí, ya, ya vamos adelantados. <ríe> sí. Es un avance. Uh -huh. Solo eso íbamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Pues creo que sí, yo entré tarde, cuando entré ya estaba en... Ya repartiendo los grupos. Sí, en lo último estaba, solo que mm. no escuché muy bien. Sí, pero eso, lo, al menos eso creo que es lo que yo entendí. Ah, oh, ok. Excelente. Que iba a dar cinco minutos. Así es, así es. Uh -huh.
¿Y cómo está su nivel de inglés? Eh, pues algo, algo básico. Me cuesta todavía un poco. Mm. Más que todo, escuchar ah, pues, y creo que y estamos hablarlo. igual. Sí, yo estoy y, y hablarlo más que todo. Exacto, la, la, la pronunciación. Vale. Leerlo un poquito, uh -huh. si entiendes, pero ya no es lo mismo leerlo que pronunciarlo. Sí. Sí, o solo estarlo escuchando, ¿verdad? A mí me cuesta un poco también entender. O sea, ya cuando están hablando en, en inglés y, y eso, pero... Sí, lo que pasa es que... No, hay, que hace, hay que seguirle. Pues esa es la idea. Aunque estas clases así diarias ayudan porque... Eh, día a día se va estudiando algo, algo pequeño, Sí, la, algo ayudar. se aprende. Ajá, a hacerla por lo menos cada sábado, uh -huh. por ejemplo. Sería bueno. O también el grupo, ¿verdad? Empezar a, a hablar más inglés o audios en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Ah, también. Es una buena idea. A decir, aunque sea una oración de, de cada tema que vemos. Ajá, exacto, el de cada día. Uh -huh. Esa es una buena idea. Sí, porque así algo se nos va a quedar. Exacto. La práctica es lo, es, es lo importante. Sí, es verdad. Bueno, a ver cómo no, pa. Ojalá que bien. <ríe> bueno, de que las tenemos buenas, están buenas. Sí. Hoy eso hay que pronunciarlo bien. Esto es lo que cuesta. La práctica, solo eso nos queda. Exacto. Ya vamos a retornar. Ah, sí, creo que ya volvemos. All right. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Okay, read Elena Buenaventura. True, my, my 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to out with some uh, friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to put on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just one, once, uh, but my friends are very traditional. Very good. Excellent. So we're going to look at the first one. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. True or false? Uh, uh, it's true. It's true. It's true. 
<laughs> All right. Number two. I am teacher. Okay. Yanshi, Shi Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I am probably going to get some money and lucky envelopes from my relatives. My boy is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Perfect. What is your answer? Yang Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. True or false? False. 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 All right. The next one. Volunteer. Excellent. Mr. Amirs, I hope Kyoto. My husband is going to to be six. Six, uh, 60 tomorrow in Japan, in Japan, the 60 birthdays. Birthday is called Kanrekai. Kan, Kan it's the beginning of a new life. The color, the color red represents a new life. So children open, give some time, rest, read, read us a present. What our children going to give, give him a red hat and vest. Through your microphone itself. All right, let me have another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, action. Feeling jolly, Paris. I, I next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends of, of to dinner. I am, I know, in France when you have a birthday. You often invite people out. In some countries, I know it is the uh, opposite. People uh, take you out. Question, Philip friends are going to take him out, out to dinner on his, on his birthdays? False. Very good. All right. Now, Phillips is his friend, and he's in France. Friends. So it's incredible that they are going to be going out, and he is going to take them there, you know? So it's incredible. Uh, Maria, por favor, no quite el mute. 2.0. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. We're going to look at parts of the body. Different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, 
throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. All right. So now for this activity, we don't have to do anything on the discussion forum. All we're going to do is just say, this is my stomach. This is my head. This is my ear. Five sentences. That's going to be your homework. For the following activity, we're looking at adjectives with stative verbs. I feel. Feel is a stative verb. What is the meaning of stative verb? It means that it has no action. It's a feeling. It's an emotion. It's not like uh, I eat, I go, I watch, I read. Those are dynamic verbs. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have restaurant. All right, everybody repeat. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. How are you? 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 Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Oh, oh, I know. I know. Why? What's the matter? Why? Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and I have a backache. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe you have to do. No, I think I just feel a little homesick from Japan. No, no, no. I, no. I, I feel you a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's, That's too bad. bad. But maybe I can help you. Maybe, maybe I, can I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. That's a great, That's a great idea. idea. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. 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 I feel better already. I feel better already. 
All right. You are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Five minutes. You will practice the conversation in pairs. Five minutes. Ready, go. Hi. Eh, si gusta empiecen, voy a sacarlo del diálogo porque no lo tengo todavía la captura. Solo era de repetir, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, permítame. Esta... O tal vez alguien lo puede compartir porque no tengo ahorita yo como. Eh, eso, eso hago ahorita, permítame. Hi, everyone. Gracias. Permítame. Ya vamos por el siguiente. No sé si lo logran ver. Eh, ya le eh, permíteme. Sí, 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 lo logramos ver. Sí, okay. esta vez. Gracias. Sí. Ok. Uh, I'm Brian. going to start. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, well, But, let's please. get practice. So, hey, yes. Kenichi, how are you? Hey, hey Kenichi, how are you? ¿Quién, ¿Quién va a ser, perdón? ¿Quién va a ser Brian y quién va a ser Kenichi? Brian, Brian yo. Quieren? Ajá, ok. Ella Brian y usted Kenichi y después paso a ser yo Kenichi. Vaya, perfecto. Va, adelante. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, oh, I am not so good actuality. With what is the matter? Well, I have a hand dash and a bed, bed cash. Maybe you have it the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Thanks to Bob, but maybe I can help. Let's give it lunch a damn new Japanese restaurant. That is a great idea. Idea, no sé cómo se pronuncia idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you. Okay, I just okay, gonna say you. something. Uh, When you si quieres, idea, you have to say idea. Idea, idea. 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 Okay. Idea. And, uh, idea. Thank you. And if you want to say have, uh, la palabra que dice ave, have, 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 have. Yeah, correct. Es de cuando have. van a referirse al dolor de cabeza es headache. 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 ¿A dónde está headache. ese? Header. Ah, um, header. Es la, ajá. En, ajá, can you see answer? Sí, headache. correcto. And headache. later is backache. 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 Okay. Exactly. Bucket. Backache. 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 Ah, okay. backache. Como si al final dijeran cake. Backache. Backache. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. And gracias. if you want to say... De, por ejemplo, en la segunda respuesta de Kenichi es actually. 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 Ok. Actually. Uh, si, si quieres, Marco, vas a, vas, a, vas a hacer el diálogo también. No. Sí, sí. Sí, sí hay tiempo. Va, ok. Si quieres, puede hacer Brian para que a ver 
para practicarte, tú puedes. <ríe> no, no hay problema. Podemos, todos podemos. <ríe> podemos. Ok, ok. <ríe> hey, can, ok, empiezo. Hey, Kenichi, how, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What is the matter? Matter. 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 Exactly. Okay. Well, okay. I have a headache and backache. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That is too bad. That is too bad. But maybe I can hear let's have lunch on that new Japan's restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, gracias. ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? Sí, ya mejor. No, ya mejor, ya mucho mejor. mejor. Sí, el detalle es eso, como no todas las palabras las conocemos, ¿verdad? Entonces hay pronunciación que no conocemos. Sí, sí, tienes razón, pero así se aprende, ¿verdad? practicando. Se aprende, precisamente. So, Maritza, yeah. do you want to try? Eh, yes, soy Kenichi. Ok. Hey, Kenichi, who are you? Oh, I am not... So good, actually. 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 Exactly. Why? What's the matter? Well, I hit a hit I have. dish. Oh. I have a hip dish. No, head 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 dish. Well, I hit a hip dish. No, no. Um, let me let me try something. Try to repeat with me. Well, well, I well, have, I, I had with V. I have, I have, I have exactly a headache. A headache. Headache. A headache. Exactly, and a backache. M and backache. Exactly. So uh, try it now. Yes. Uh, well, I'll help. I'll wish I wish. Así es, ¿verdad? Well, I hip. I, I have, have. I have. I have. I'll I'll shit. I help. I help. I help. I help. Well, I help. I heard it at a back to. All right, let me have two volunteers. I am coach. Okay. Sorry, sir. All right, action. Okay, uh, hey Kenichi, who are you? I just only me or with someone? Hi. Yes, with Roxana. Okay. Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Uh, well, I have a headache in a package. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help you. Let's have a lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. Thanks. A great idea. Uh, thanks, Brian. I feel better already. All right. Now, what we're going to do is look at the following activity, which is the knowledge check. 
conversation number one. You're going to listen to the conversation. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Page 80. Exercise 4. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. 1. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. 2. Ow. Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? All right. So, for this activity, you're going to answer and identify the correct situation. Are you ready? Yes. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. You can access the platform. Yes. Okay. If you like uh, to what to make the exercise. Eh, si quiere usted nos di nos dice ah. eh, nos lee porque yo no tengo acceso ahorita a la plataforma. Ah, okay. Entonces el, el... Uh, sí este quieren que comparta pantalla como hicimos hace un momento. Por favor. Sí, por favor, cabal, y así, porque no me lo... No... Vale, vamos a escuchar. Page 80, exercise 4. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. One. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Here. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes. Well, take a break, Marla. Finish typing your homework later. Okay. <laughs> Me perdí. Sí, yo también. Solo, solo... Este, pero en la dos pude entender que decía que era elbow. Son dos, back y elbow. Ajá. Ajá. La dos, pero en Ay. la primera, que el dolor de cabeza, head eye, head eye, como, no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia head eye. Y... Y la otra, este, tú, la garganta, parece. Sí. Vaya. Si quieres, lo, 
si quieren la escuchamos no. otra vez. Sí, está bien. Vale, que okay, lo voy a volver a compartir. Mi, antes que este, así se oye el montón de, de audio. Ajá, los, los feos de los compañeros. Ah. Ah, ¿o qué me, ¿a qué se refería? No, es que oigo que un montón de niños que, que se oye ahí que están sí, hablando. Pero no es aquí. Es, eh, no sé, en alguna de las otras casas que están de los compañeros. Porque si no, en mi casa todos están dormidos. No, no, en el audio. Ah, en el audio. Ah, yo pensaba que sí, yo pensaba que era el externo al audio. Vale. Vale, póngalo. Sí. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache. I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Entonces, en el primero es head. Head y trot. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Ok. En vamos. la segunda es back y elbow. Fue la única que logré. Ok. La tres. Vamos a ver. Escuchemos entonces, bueno, que, que escuchamos el 2 siempre, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué no avanza esto? Qué raro, ya no, ya no, ya no se escucha. Este, eh, póngalo todo. No. Vamos a ver. Es. Mm. Vale, vamos a volver a compartirlo, a ver, desde el principio. Page 80, exercise four, listening. I have a headache, part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold, I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Mm -hmm. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch! Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Ok, y eh, entonces era, en el, en el cuatro no entendí. <ríe> en el cuatro entendí yo que... Ace y Brit. ¿Cómo? Ajá, la, en los dos. Los ojos. Ace. Y el primero, son dos. 
Ah, bueno, ese sí no lo, no lo entendí yo. Va, entonces sería, vamos a ver, otra vez les comparto. Bye. Aquí. En la primera sería entonces dos. La primera y la tercera. Heaven Truth. Esta, ¿verdad? Sí. En la segunda. Back y Elwood. Uh -huh. Y en la tercera decía Bad, Bad. Bueno, no sé si escuché mal, pero decía igual que la anterior, ¿verdad? Bueno, Bad and Truth. No. Solo es Toads. Toads. Solo la primera. Ah, pues yo lo escribí mal aquí. Vamos a ver. En esta sí me escuché yo. La este, primera y la segunda. Ajá, este era el único que yo tenía. Pero... Esa es la cuatro. Ace también. Cuatro. Ace. Ajá, e Ajá, Ice. Vamos a ver. Eso. Ah, pues sí. Sí, porque yo aquí solamente había escuchado la primera. Vale. Eh, lo, eh, ¿Están completando ustedes o lo, com lo completan ahorita? No, este... Yo lo veo... All right, we're going to go ahead and look at the first section. Page 80, exercise four, listening. I have a headache, part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold, I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh, my gosh! Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward and look at health problems, symptoms, common community. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. I take aspirin. 
Okay, so for this activity, you're going to give me five examples. Five examples here in the discussion forum. In pairs, you will have five minutes. Whenever I have a headache, whenever I have a stomach ache, whenever I have a back ache, Whenever I have a knee ache, an ear ache, how much I take? Um, I don't know. Hola. 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 Hacer oraciones, Hi. verdad? Mm -hmm. Whenever I have, whenever my head hurts, I take aspirin. Siempre que me duele la cabeza, yo tomo aspirina. Whenever I have, as I have, my head, I take aspirin. Pero yo creo que todos inician con. No, I have. Whenever I have. Whenever. Cuando, es que es como cuando yo tengo gripe. Ajá, por ese. Yo tomo, I have, es tomar. Ajá. Para eso, por eso, whenever, cuando tengo la gripe, whenever I no. have the flu. Cuando, ajá, cuando, cuando dice, cuando yo tengo gripe, whenever I have the flu, cuando yo tengo gripe. I take, yo tomo jarabe para la tos. Uh -huh. cuando, cuando yo tengo cuando, eh, eh, dolor de cabeza sería head, 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 head chest. Uh -huh. bueno, uh, head I take aspirin. Y a cold es temperatura. Es re, no es resfriado. Resfriado. But I take. Um, Whenever. ¿Y qué hay ahí? Uh, But, uh, cold fields. Cold fields. Sí, ¿verdad? Cold fields. Sí. Cold fields. Cold fields. Dice cold fields. Cold fields. Uh -huh. Otra. Ajá, y el antiácido. Quería buscar whenever. Whenever. Eh, es, uh, para decir dolor de estómago. Estómatis. Yeah, es, es, eh, para escribirlo, estomachache. <risa> es. O sea, para estomachache. Stomach. 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 Dolor. Stomach. Whenever. Stomach. Ajá. Whenever. Whenever I have. Stomach. I take. I take. Antacid. Too much. I take antacid. Whenever I have a stomach, I take antacid. Antacid. Sí, I take cases. Okay. Antasis. Porque empieza Antasis. Otra. Antasis. Eh, muscle cream. Aquí tengo, aquí tengo una ya dice. Eh, whenever I have a, a sprain, I apply a muscle cream. Cuando, siempre que tengo una torcedura, yo aplico una crema muscular. ¿Está bien ¿Y cómo se, escribe, cómo se escribe torcedura? Me aparece sprain. 
Es Prime. El seguro. Ouch. Ajá. Lo estoy buscando también a ver qué Ajá. El estrelo. Por seguro. <risa> Twist. T-W-I-S-T T-W-I-S-T T, T de tomate Ajá, W I-S-T, twist Ok, twist O le ponemos mejor esguince <risa> El esguince ya le va a poner yeso <risa> Ay, cierto <risa> <risa> eh, eh, no, eh, no, y sería eh, twist músculo, no. No, no, no. Es porque es bien raro, estoy buscando a ver cómo. Uh -huh. Bueno, podemos twist, I take. <risa> músculo, para poner músculo palabras cream. diferentes. Ajá. Músculo cream. Por segura. Acordémonos de las papitas twister. Y el. Y el count drops. Perdón, perdón, dice que. Es, uh, esta cosa. Uno, como no, no de... I have a twist, I apply a muscle cream. No, creo que... Lo que pasa es que el... El, tradu, el traductor dice que para... Dice, twist es torcedura, torsión, peculiaridad, sesgo, recodo, spray. O sea, es, uh -huh. es 15, torcedura o desgarro. Se escribe SP Spray. Spray. Es mejor Spray que Twist. Yo tenía Spray. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Mm. No falta spray. una. Va, eh, la otra es: eh, Whenever my eyes hurt, I apply eye drops. Siempre que me duelen los ojos, yo aplico gotas para los ojos. ¿Está bien eso? En este caso, como es como. Como no es tomar steak, eh, ¿qué pusieron en, para aplicar? Eh, solamente dice apple. Apple. Ajá, recién aparece a mí como aplicar apple. 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 La crema, la, el muscle, muscle cream. Muscle ajá. cream. Ajá. Como ese no se no, la no puede no, ser la tomar cream, porque no es de eh, tomar. No, 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 por eso, cuando hicimos lo de la torcedura, ahí era, yo me aplico eh, eh, muscle, el cream. Muscular. muscle cream. Uh -huh. eh, la otra era eh, gotas para los ojos y el dolor de cabeza, la aspirina. Y eh, la de la tos, siempre que tengo gripe, yo tomo jarabe para la tos. Yes. Whenever I have the flu, uh -huh. I take up syrup. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Go ahead, move forward, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Okay. Bye, teacher. Good night, Thank teacher. You. Bye bye. 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 bye